What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we are going to be as spoiler free as possible in going through our impressions of the new raid feature coming to Fallout 76 later on this year. We're also going to answer some questions that we saw come up during the live stream and in our community posts. And we're also going to talk about some things that we would like to see the raid system change with as soon as possible. And also some things that we would like to see come to Fallout 76 with the raid system in future updates to fallout 76 so y'all sit back relax and let's talk about it y'all and now starting off with we had a question come up a lot during the live stream also on our twitter post and our youtube community post about do we think someone is going to be able to solo this at the first of this raid feature coming out to fallout 76 or later down the road and now without getting into too much detail there are five phases in this raid feature as it stands right now and it all culminates to a big boss battle but four phases are either things that the team has to come together and overcome or take out mini bosses and now to me personally i do believe that phase one phase three phase four and phase five can be taken out solo once vault dwellers have their perfect build set up the four star legendaries to help out with them but phase two is more of a cooperative team mode phase and to me this is going to at least need two people and some serious luck and now there are some vault dwellers out there in the wasteland that are seeing if they can solo the raid inside of the PTS and the community told me about Alex 1017k and watching them clear the final boss and the first boss was absolutely crazy to my brain and then tear came out and it was just a little bit ago that they uploaded a one through five phase solo clear and this is absolutely insane to my brain vault dwellers out there in the wasteland are absolutely nuts I thought this was going to take a lot longer but yes this is absolutely amazing we'll have a link to both channels in the description below and now if you want to know more about how the phases feel phase one phase three and phase five are your typical boss type phases inside of a raid phase two feels like you're playing a custom call of duty match back in the black ops days where we can make those custom matches and we were playing michael myers with the lobby an overpowered enemy always trying to track you down in a certain area and really phase four has that same michael myers feel but not as much much, but more of a group type Michael Myers thing and you'll understand more when you actually see this but just remember there is a mechanic to that and be wary of how you utilize this mechanic because you can soft flock yourself out of finishing that when you if you soft flock yourself you will have to restart it to start it back over but you'll get it as soon as you see that mechanic we will definitely be releasing a guide closer to the raid feature coming out because I know Bethesda is going to be making some changes and we do want to make a guide as of to date as possible that way we can help y'all clear this raid out as soon as possible when this feature comes out later on this year in 2024 and another question that we got asked is how much ammo do we think folks are going to be using in this raid feature and that answer is really subjective to the player their build their optimization on their build and what weapon they're going to be using now for us on both of our runs we wanted to keep it the same build the same weapon just to try this out on the first run we did one through five phases and we protected on phase two you'll understand more the difference later once we put the guide out or if you do it yourself or check out somebody that's doing a bit you'll understand why you go through more ammo but we used about 10 to 15 thousand rounds from phase one to phase five and we were protecting in phase two now the second run we did phase one through five but i was not protecting in phase two i was running away from michael myers during phase two and we only used around five to eight thousand rounds so it's really subjective on are you going to be protecting in round two are you not going to be protecting in round two what your build is like what your weapon is set up for and just how optimized of a build you're actually going to be running and now another question that we got asked is how are the rewards for completing the phases inside of the raid and i will say without giving too much away that there are some good rewards tied to finishing these phases and the potentiality of getting those rewards but as far as ammunition aid and stuff like that those definitely need to be buffed up and the rewards kind of adjusted but we have to remember this is the first week of the new feature 
server being tested inside of the public test server and that is the point of the public test server we are there to test the different sections of the new features coming to fallout 76 whether it be for bugs or if we think something is a little bit overpowered or if something needs to be buffed and that way bethesda can make the necessary changes that they need to for when it goes into the public server but yeah as far as the potentiality of getting a certain legendary box yes you can uh some other things yes you can uh but yeah as far as if you're wanting ammo and stuff like that that definitely needs to be buffed up we definitely get more ammo and a type products from being out in the wasteland are in a daily op are inside of an expedition but yeah as far as the rewards go i'm definitely excited to see where the team goes with this but what we got lucky enough to actually unlock from finishing these phases inside of the raid feature i am definitely excited for other vault dwellers to try this out and to see what their rng is like in the raid now, someone asked on the community post for YouTube yesterday, how is this content going to work for solo players and can you join an ongoing raid? Now, we were the team lead for the majority of our time with the raid, but we did have a random join in on phase five of our raid. So it does look like at least at the time of recording that folks are going to be able to join in on the raid team at different phases out there in the wasteland. And now something cool that Bethesda and Double Eleven are doing is tying the raid progression to each player in the party so the group can disband and you can pick up from where you left off with a different group the team leader is the one that sets the starting point for the raid group so if you're in a later stage and the team leader is in an earlier one you'll retain your later progression state that is absolutely amazing and i love that bethesda and double eleven are doing this so if you've been wondering how this is going to work as far as you crashing, especially if you crash a lot during expeditions, this should make you feel a little bit more at ease. And now there's a lot of players out there that may have never experienced an MMO before, and there are a lot of terms that you're going to be introduced to, but there are two terms I want to talk about that we were talking about on our stream, and that is resetting and wiping. But now I bring this up because as it stands right now in the raid feature, the team has it designed that when you go down, you are spectating your teammates and you cannot be revived. And now I would absolutely love to see something set in to where we could sacrifice potentially ourselves to pick up a teammate, like put ourselves at risk to save their life, or if players could get a one grace down before they're spectating the teammates. It's definitely a hardcore mode in comparison to some of the other MMOs that I have played in my life, but I do actually enjoy this feature the way it is, but I also would absolutely love to be able to at least revive a teammate by putting my self at risk so say that you're on phase two and your team of four has been dwindled down to a team of one because of michael myers being all jacked up on mountain dew what you should do is because you are going to need at least another person to complete that phase you are going to want to meet michael myers that way you can reset your instance but don't worry when your team wipes that means that everybody is dead the instance is going to start over back at that phase that you just had to reset so don't worry you're not going to lose any progression or anything like that it's absolutely fine to reset learn the mechanics take your time and have fun and now you may be sitting there thinking gassy you have totally just skipped over the fact that you said it took you a little over two hours to run your first raid and yes friends i kind of did gloss over that fact but i want to address it now you see the two hour mark included things like getting b-roll taking photos looking at lore seeing some easter eggs that i can't talk about but if you go to the live stream you'll definitely see a big one that i absolutely love that they put in here but yes there is is a lot of things that are in that two hours and i do believe that in learning the mechanics seeing if you get lucky or unlucky with some of the mechanics that can pop up during these phases and depending on if you get some bugs like we did at the tail end of the raid feature but i do believe that the majority of people are going to get their time down to like 30 minutes to an hour to finish these five phases 
And now something that I would love to see in Fallout 76 with the raid feature is a way to push Vault Dwellers even harder. Yes, that's right, friends. This raid is super hard, but once you learn the mechanics and you get everything down, just like in life, having that knowledge is going to make everything easier. And something that I would love to see with this raid feature later on down the road, not specifically with this one, is something like in New Game Plus for Starfield or the Dungeon Crawl that Tiny Tina's Wonderland has where you can choose to up the difficulty to get a better set of rewards and chance at getting things. And I think this would be great to have for Vault Dwellers constantly wanting to push themselves. And let me know in the comment section below, would you like to see something like this come to Fallout 76 in the future with the raid system? And now if you're a regular on this channel, then you know that I don't like to cuss on my live streams or on my videos because I look at YouTube and content creation as a job. Even though I have a full-time job working in technology, in education, I just don't cuss at work and I also don't cuss around family. I'm just a good Southern boy that's had to pick a switch as a time or two too many. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. But I was having so much fun with this raid feature and especially on phase two, I was very scared out of my mind and i wanted to cuss a few times just being like this is effing awesome and like you know it was just so much fun and i cannot wait for more people to get in and experience the fun that we got to experience doing this raid y'all i cannot wait to run more of these and now if the team has this in the oven for season 19 in fallout 76 i cannot wait to see what they have cooking up for later updates for the wasteland y'all 2024 has been so exciting with so much news and information of the team working on things things coming out things to come i mean y'all we've got ghoul coming out sometime next year there is so much going on in the wasteland and i am all here for it thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out and let me know in the comment section below how you're feeling about the raid feature and what would you like to see me cover from the public test server thank you so much to the channel members for the continued support y'all if you hadn't seen the video where we go over the top five camps of the week that got submitted to our discord check it out right here but y'all have a great wonderful day out there in the wasteland peace love ya